Let's take a trip to the Amazon rainforest. You might be wondering, where is this place? Good question. The Amazon rainforest is located in South America and covers 2.1 million square miles of land. Brazil, Peru, and Colombia contain most of the forest, while other countries have very small parts of the rainforest within their borders. There are many features of this environment that tell us a lot about why it has the animals and plants that it does. Let's take a look. First off, this rainforest is home to 80,000 plant species. Wow! Of those plants, there are 400 billion trees. Yes, I said billion. Now that's a lot of trees, but one of the most common in the rainforest is the rubber tree. This one in particular had a lot of importance to humans because it produces a sap that we use as latex or rubber, like a bouncy ball. We can make many material items out of it, and many people in South African countries rely on this tree today. Along with many different kinds of trees and plants, the environment is home to the world's largest swamp. The swamp is important because we've got to remember this area is really wet, which has a lot to do with who all lives there. The swamp makes it wet, the vines make the forest dense. Just looking at the forest, you can see that the vines connect much of the plants and are also helpful to animals that live there. The vines, trees, and swamps aren't the only wonders the rainforest has to offer. Take a look at the Amazon River, the second longest river in the world. This is one of the most recognizable features of the rainforest and is a water source to the entire biome. It brought many humans to the area throughout history. Needless to say, the rainforest is a very wet place. Now that we've seen some of the environment's features, let's see what kind of animals we can find in this large area of dense trees and huge river. Here we see the blue morpho butterfly. It's just like it sounds, blue and edged with black. They are one of the world's biggest butterflies with wings spanning five to eight inches long. The underside of their wings are brown with eye spots for camouflage to protect themselves. This is a toucan. There are about 40 different kinds, ranging from 7 inches to 2 feet tall. Their beaks can be many different colors, and they live in the canopy layer of the rainforest, or the tops of the trees. They are important to the rainforest because they spread seeds from the fruits and berries they eat. Next, I bet you know what this one is, a cheetah. The cheetah is the fastest land animal in the world. They have sharp vision and a keen sense of smell. Very skilled hunters, their chase usually only lasts 20 to 60 seconds. They find their homes on the forest floor and in more grassy areas of the jungle. Next up is the howler monkey. This guy is the loudest land animal in the world and the largest monkey in the Amazon. Their calls can be heard from up to three miles away. They find homes in the forest's dense tree limbs. Let's take a closer look and find somebody small, the strawberry poison dart frog. This little guy is much more dangerous than he looks, and is, as his name suggests, he is poisonous and his red coloring is a warning of that to other animals. This frog prefers wet forests like the Amazon and lives on the thick leaves of its trees and vines. Last but not least, how cute is this three-toed sloth? This animal is perfect for the rainforest environment because they live in the limbs and vines of trees, not moving very much. They are part of a short food chain. They eat insects, which feed on plants, which we know get their energy from the sun. They are the slowest land animal, so slow that algae grows on them. They find their home in the rainforest a perfect match for their lifestyle since it's great for hanging around. Let's look at a recap. We've talked about a few features of the rainforest and then many animals that find those features to be a perfect environment to live in. Can you identify three features of the rainforest environment? Why are those features important to the animals that live there? These are all great things to think about when we're learning about biomes. Awesome trip.